Phoebe, welcome to the show. Hi, I sound way more impressive through your accent. I'm like, oh my God, who is this woman? It is an impressive resume though. I mean, even, not, even if it's not in my accent, it's really impressive. And I'd love to know, what is the end goal? Are you, are, you, are you trying to Oprah this thing? Are you trying to Shonda Rhimes it? Are you trying to like, what, what is the end goal for Phoebe? Because it feels like you are moguling this thing one day at a time. Yeah, I would love to be the baby of Shonda and Oprah. Okay, okay. like okay. a super black baby who's like <laughs> out here <laughs> dominating everything. But no, really, I just like have a lot of fun creating and I really think I learned so much from Two Dope Queens and just how much Jessica and I were really creating a platform for other people to get right. their stuff out there. So I really am like, oh, this is so cool. So I want to do more of that. I love how all of your books turn into something, you know? Yeah, um, do. Your books are great to read. You, 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 you know what I love about reading your books is they sound like you hanging out with me but on a page. Yes. That's what it always feels like when I read your books. Oh, thank you. you know? so and this much. one is no different. Please don't sit on my bed in your outside clothes. Mm -hmm. Sounds a little bit like something my mom would say to me without the please. <laughs> my mom wouldn't say please at all. This would be an instruction. So the book is essays from your life, how you think, how you see the world. I love that part of it is you just giving us lessons. Like, like one of my favorites, I paraphrase, is basically like what Warren Buffett hasn't told you. Yeah. This could have been an email. Just like how to be a CEO. Let's talk a little bit about that. You know, we live in a world where for a long time, many black women were, were you know, in many ways restricted to certain roles. You know, it's like, oh, you can only do this, you can only do that. You can't be running things. Slowly, we've seen those things change. It hasn't completely changed, but we're seeing the changes that take place. You're one of the success stories. What have you learned in a world that wasn't necessarily designed for you, but is now in some way, shape or form being shaped by you? Oh, wow. To think that I'm like shaping anything feels... I will happily take that compliment. Thank you so much. I think, you know, all the industries that we're in, you're an author too as well, they're predominantly white. And so you get a lot of pushback initially. And then sort of once you become a little more known or a little more proven, the doors open up a little bit more. And so I think the biggest thing that I've taken away from this is like, just don't let anyone's no stop you. I know like it's hard to persevere at times because you're just kind of like, I don't know. I'm like trying, I'm trying, I'm not getting anywhere, mm -hmm. but I'm always like, I feel like we've always proven people wrong. And so that's been the biggest thing. It's like, don't doubt yourself. Like, don't trust that outside person and tell you that you, like I had so many people tell me like, I'm not fine, that I don't have what it takes, blah, 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 all these things. And like, look at where I'm across from you with your perfect skin, <laughs> with your perfect fro. And I'm talking about a book I wrote. I mean, come on. That's a win. I think a lot of people can write a book. Not anyone can become a New York Times bestseller, as you have, and even fewer people can start their own imprints. I've never even thought of that. I yeah. genuinely was just like, wait, Phoebe, you're going to be the imprint now? <laughs> Tiny Reparations? Greatest name I've ever come across, Thank by the you. way. <laughs> what's, what's the plan for that? What are you, what are you hoping to achieve? Yeah, we're, we're highly curated, so we're publishing three to five books. We have five books coming out next year and then five more in 2023, right? Yes. Um, and I'm really excited about it. It's literary nonfiction, sorry, literary fiction, nonfiction, mm -hmm. essay collections, and some poetry, which I'm very jazzed about. And I just wanted it to be a place that will make authors feel welcome and they wouldn't have to go through what mm. I went through back in 2015. Like, only one publisher, my publisher Plume, said yes to me. Everyone else was like, your book won't sell. It's not relatable. Nobody wants to read books written by funny black women. Like, got so much negative feedback. In 2015, I was wow. like, there's no way that I'm going to, on my watch, anyone's going to say anything like that. Before I let you go, I have to talk to you about one of the most exciting moments in a comedy person's life yes and that is doing their solo special this is big i mean yes. this is this is phoebe yeah on hbo just you what is the balance of like nerves versus excitement i that was like always when i started stand up it was do late night set on letterman that uh -huh. didn't happen half hour special on comedy central that didn't happen one hour special hbo so i feel like my dream has come true i wow. was very nervous because I was just like, you know, it's like Chris Rock and Wanda right, Sack right, and Margaret right. Cho. Like, I'm going to be in this group. And it feels like, LOL, do I belong? But it also was really sort of like I put in the hard work. And you know how it is. Like, yeah. you, you do your first special, you feel like everything is riding on it. Because you, like, you dream about this moment for yeah, so long. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I think people are going to love it. And I really wanted to be something light and uplifting during this time. Because we are all so weary and tired. And I want people to just laugh for an hour. 
I mean, that's all. I mean, we're just going to watch you turn into like a super mogul and we're just going to enjoy it. Yeah, and I'm not going to talk to you in 10 years. I was like, Trevor, who? I, I like that actually. <laughs> I like it. I would like it if everyone I meet now doesn't talk to me in 10 years because they're that successful. And I'll just wave from far and be like, hey, me. <laughs> um, remember the hair? No, I don't. I'm well, sorry. it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Phoebe's book. Please Don't Sit on My Bed in Your Outside Clothes is available right now. Her HBO Max comedy special, Sorry Harriet Tubman, will be available October 14th. <laughs>